Many times, you might have felt like you are not putting in some rooms, some relationships or certain environments. But this time, God is sending you the most awaited and the most accurate sign that you were looking for. And it is saying that one thing is going to disappear from your life by the end of December 31st, 2023. All those who are going to give their complete attention to these upcoming blessings words will receive huge number of miracles and the blessings in the year 2024. While those who are still disrespecting God and denying His words will get caught up in the trap laid by the enemy. Now to all those who are still listening, these prophetic words are being spoken over your life. So I want you to use them because you contain the fire of God within you. Heal the seeds that are being sowed in your life. Use these prophetic words that are being spoken over your lives and witness the mind-blowing transformation that comes after. Remember, God's blessings are embedded into each of your smiles. So, to ensure that more people can experience this, please take a moment to share this video and like. Also subscribe to our channel. Before we dive into the main part of this video, let us come together and pray to our Heavenly Father. Our Father in Heaven, may your name be revered, may your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Provide us with our daily sustenance and forgive our debts as we forgive those indebted to us. Please guide us away from temptation and protect us from evil. Amen. Now God wants you to hear these words because He is about to take away some bitter attachments that are hindering your growth. Yes, you heard it right. As you know that God is making you a new creation in Him. And in order to do that, this is necessary that He take away all the past mistakes and the bitter attachments that are acting as a roadblock in your path to Him. A great cleansing of past mistakes is going to be completed by the end of this month and this will make all the bitter memories disappear from your life. Our past mistakes are like shadows that follow us around, casting a dark cloud over our present and future. They are like chains that binds us preventing us from moving forward. But remember, God's love and mercy are boundless. He is the potter and we are the clay. He can reshape us, remold us and make us whole again. God's cleansing is like a river that washes away the dirt and grime of our past mistakes. It's like a fire that purifies us and refines us. It's like a wind that blows away the stuff and leaves only the wheat. It's like a light that dispels the darkness and brings clarity and understanding. God doesn't just cleanse us of our past mistakes. He also equips us with the wisdom and strength to make better choices in the future. He doesn't just erase our past, but He also writes a better future. Let's welcome the divine cleansing that will make all the bitter attachments and memories disappear from our lives. And let's welcome the growth and transformation that will make us more than we ever thought we could be. Remember, every sunset is followed by a sunrise, every end is a new beginning. 
The end of this year 2023 is not just the end of a chapter in our lives, but the beginning of a new one. A chapter, a new year, filled with hope, growth, and endless possibilities. But do remember, in the year 2024, God is commanding all of His chosen people to walk by faith and not by sight. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, Paul the Apostle tells us that we must live by faith, not by sight. Where sight refers to emotions and natural senses, to walk successfully with God and experience this supernatural, it is crucial to understand that emotions won't contribute positively. They are unstable and situation dependent. Observe anyone led by emotions and you will find instability. Up today, down tomorrow. The core of the Christian life is faith, the foundation of our salvation. It's not about becoming born again because you are sorry for past actions. It's about placing faith in the finished work of Jesus on cross. Declaring Jesus as Lord. The saved thief crucified alongside. Jesus had committed numerous sins, but four things retained him. Hearing Jesus ask for keeping fear of the Lord, admitting guilt, and acknowledging Christ's perfection. The fight against the flesh is more about a fight of faith than a fight for control. Believers have a privilege because they have faith in Christ. When emotions like dirt, fear, and anxiety assail you, respond with faith. Remind the enemy that you are a being of faith, born of faith, and sustained by faith. Even when feelings of guilt or affliction come, respond with faith, knowing your position among the perfect scene. Your emotions are real. And God understands them through Jesus, who was tempted in every way but without sinning. However, submitting to God means making His word the truth, your standard, reality, and the most important factor in your life. In times of emotional turmoil, shut out the noise. Retreat to your secret place with God and soak up his truth about the situation. This should be a weapon in the war against emotional attacks. Whether it's fear, anger, failure, and worry, next faith meet you. Instead of dwelling on a feeling relationship, revenge, financial struggles, or global crisis, turn to prayer and God's work. Pour out your emotions before God, replacing them with confidence in His intervention. Faith is the key to receiving from God, and by believing what He has said, you can overcome any emotional challenge and the channel God's compassion to the world. Let faith guide you, and with God on your side, your room will emerge victorious. Now when you have received all the blessing words into your spirit, I would like to request you to claim all your blessings through the spirit that I am about to pray. Let us seek our Heavenly Father and His blessings in the upcoming year of 2024 and thank Him in advance for the great cleansing He is about to do in our lives. Let us begin. Heavenly Father, we gather here 
our hearts overflowing with emotions as we stand on the brink of a new year 2024. Already you know the depths of our soul and today we come to you with an intensity of emotions that words can barely express. Thank you, Father, for the cleansing you promised to bring into our lives. The bitter memories, the chains of the past, will lay there like your feet. Your mercy is the salve for our wounded hearts, and we feel the weight lifting as we anticipate your cleansing touch. Lord, the journey ahead is unknown and our hearts are a mix of hope, anticipation, and even a touch of fear. We surrender our plans and dreams to you, acknowledging that your ways surpass our understanding. As we step into the unknown, may your light guide our way, and your wisdom be our compass. Help us release the grip of bitterness, Father, the hurts that linger, the wounds we nurse, we open our hands and hearts to your healing touch. Forgiveness is not just an end, it's a release, a freedom we see. Grant us the strength to forgive and the humility to seek forgiveness when needed. As we approach the new year, surround our families, friends, and loved ones with your protective embrace. Let the cleansing work you do in our lives extend to those we cherish, creating a ripple of transformation and grace. In this new journey, Father, instill in us a deep sense of gratitude. Help us find joy in the smallest moments, lessons in the challenges, and your presence in every breath. May our hearts overflow with thanksgiving, recognizing that every good the perfect gift is a manifestation of your boundless love. As we surrender the year 2024 into your hands, Lord, infuse it with your purpose. May it be a year of growth, blessings, and unshakable faith. Our trust Rest in your unfading love and with the belief that you are the orchestrator of our stories. Heavenly Father, we pour out our hearts to you. May this prayer made with emotions and sincerity reach your ears. We are your children, yearning for your guidance, protection, and love. Thank you for the promise of a renewed life in the coming year. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Now please confess your faith and surrender to God in the comments below by typing I follow Jesus. And share this video with anyone you can if you find it helpful. May the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen.